Hey, what's going on? This is Big Ben and do Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum has basically more room to go up. Should you buy now? Um, I'm going to go over that um, right now in this video. So let's start off with um, we actually started with Litecoin. Matter of fact, let's start off with Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin. So let's talk about Bitcoin. All right. So BTC. Now let's look at this chart real quick. There's nothing actually wrong with Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. It's cool. The only reason why I don't like personally want to buy Bitcoin right now is because percentage-wise, it doesn't make sense for me as an investor. So if I buy, right, I'm usually looking for a 2x, 3x, 4x gains or more, right? So maybe, you know, three times the money, four times or 10, 10x um, times my money. And with Bitcoin, since it's so high, percentage wise, it's hard to get those type of gains. So let's say I put $2,000 on Bitcoin, right? For, for it to actually even give me 100% gain, right? It has to, let's say it's at $20,000, right? I mean, let's say it's at 20000 right? Um, just to get a, a hundred times my money, I mean, one times my money, basically, um, it has to go to 40,000 and then let's say I want two X, then it has to go to 60,000. Right. So I don't think I'm not saying Bitcoin won't get there. I'm just saying, I don't think it will get there anytime soon. So I'm looking for gainers that will actually, I mean, cryptos that will actually get me those type of gains soon and that's why i like like coin ripple and these other different currencies that actually have um you know have potential to actually get me there quicker so let's look at litecoin so for my answer for my opinion bitcoin um is a buy but it's not it's not fit in my criteria it's not fitting this the type of uh, crypto that I want to buy right now. So for me, in my opinion, Bitcoin, no, isn't a buy right now. Now let's talk about Litecoin. Now Litecoin, I actually like it. I still think it has potential. Um, I would I would have bought. I'm I'm in Litecoin, but uh, if I wasn't, I would have bought these pullbacks, these pullbacks. So basically, Litecoin I still think has uh, the ability to go much higher. Um, and another reason why because it's on Coinbase and it's the cheapest coin on Coinbase, right? So you know that for the most part, um, people that are new and that's going to Coinbase, they they definitely going to look at the prices, right? And they're going to basically look at the cheapest coin and, and say, hey, why why I'm buying Bitcoin is at seventeen thousand? I can get you know Litecoin at three hundred or whatever the case is. So there's a lot of potential for Litecoin and these other different cryptocurrencies. And you gotta have to you have to remember that. It's not it's not really mainstream yet. Bitcoin is 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 getting there, but it's not mainstream yet. Even Bitcoin is not mainstream yet, but it's it's slowly getting there. So we have mo a lot of room for the other cryptos to, you know, um, gain a lot of um, momentum because a lot of people don't even know about um, these other cryptos. If you go to a regular uh, person on the street and ask them about cryptocurrency. They probably only know Bitcoin. They don't even know other ones like Ripple, Litecoin, and different things like that. So we have a lot of room for it to grow. So Litecoin is definitely a buy, in my opinion. So yes, I do believe Litecoin is a buy. Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is actually... Let me see. It's actually... Let's look at the chart for Ethereum. Is actually a, a, a good buy too. 
I would actually look maybe look for a little bit a little pullback, but I still think Ethereum the way it's looking, just the way it's looking right now, I'm looking at it right now. I think it one hit I think it wants to hit a thousand before the year's up. So um you might not get the pullback that you want on Ethereum. So you might just, you know, want to buy either either you know, um maybe soon or if it shows a little bit of pullback, you know, and I, and and of course I'm not giving you financial advice, you know. If you want professional, you know, if you if you just entertain, entertainment only, only if you want professional advice, seek a professional advisor. But this is my opinion. Basically, um, pullbacks right now is probably going to be slim when it comes to Ethereum because I believe it's going straight to a thousand before the years before the year is going to end. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's what it looks like. It looks like it's trying to hit that thousand mark. So, I personally think Ethereum is a buy. And I bought this. I'm glad I bought this because I bought it around here. And psh, I'm, I'm up pretty good on this one. Um, Ripple. Let's look at Ripple real quick. Ripples is the beast, man. And and it has more to go. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is looking nice. I believe we're gonna hit a dollar. Then once that hits, it's just whew. so yes, Ripple, in my opinion, is a buy. I love Ripple. It's not too late to buy um Ripple, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Bitcoin is not too late to buy, but percentage wise, I don't think you're gonna get a lot of gains. So it's up to you. Like I said, this is this is just my opinion, but this is what I believe. And um and basically I, I'm just basically looking at the chart. I'm a chart guy. I've been trading and investing for more than ten years and basically I look at the chart a lot of times I don't really know the technicals about you know behind a lot of these um cryptocurrencies but I don't care because I don't have to know because I'm looking at the chart and the chart is telling me to buy I'm buying you know just just like bitcoin cash right a lot of people hate and I you know I read the comments on bitcoin cash a lot of people hate bitcoin cash because you know Roger Ver is behind it and they saying that Bitcoin, um, Bitcoin Cash is basically, um, it's not going to s succeed, and um, it's Bitcoin trash, and a lot of people just hate Bitcoin Cash, and I don't go based on if I hate a coin or not. I go based on the technicals, what I see in a chart, and I saw a buy opportunity, so I bought around here, and now this bad boy is up, so. Um, I don't really care too much about hating. That's like, for example, that's like someone going to Walmart and and say, "Man, I hate Walmart. I'm gonna short the stock." You can't go if you really want to be a successful investor. You cannot go based on your feelings. Just because you hate something doesn't mean that it's going to go down. So that's my, um, you know, that's my uh, the, the that's the way I actually invest i look at the charts if i see if it's a buy i'm gonna buy it i don't care who's behind it i don't care whatever the whatever the case is i don't care if a lot of people hates it i'm still going to buy because my the chart is telling me to buy so once you actually get to actually learn how to read the chart you will you will wait you will make a lot more money because it's not based on your feelings it's based on patterns that you're using to buy these cryptos so subscribe like this video talk to you guys later and um just uh keep keep your eye on uh, different videos and, and go watch my other video that you know i'm, I'm explaining i think is the um i forgot the name of the video basically i think it was uh, one simple trick that um you can use to actually buy cryptos 
and I'm talking about you know how to buy cryptos um, just pretty much buy the pullbacks you know and anyway I told you guys later subscribe and like this video